Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Speak Storytimed channel. On this channel, I provide lots of tips, tricks, stories, and interesting English podcasts that can help improve your listening and speaking skills in English. Today, we're starting something special for our beginner English learners. Before we begin, I would like to remind you that I am sharing this material with you for free. I hope you can support me by liking and commenting after watching this video for about three minutes. Your feedback is important to me and helps me improve. Thank you for your support and comments. Great, let's begin. Hello, Mr. Han. How are you today? Hi, Jane. I'm good, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thanks. Mr. Han, I've been trying to learn English. Can you help me? Of course, Jane. Learning English can be fun. Where do you want to start? I think readings are important. How do people usually say hello in English? That's a great starting point. People often say hello or hi to greet each other. In the morning, you can say good morning in the afternoon, good afternoon, and in the evening, good evening. I see. And how do people say goodbye? They usually say goodbye or bye. If you'll see the person again soon, you can say see you later or see you soon. Interesting. And what about asking how someone is? You can simply ask, how are you? A common response is, I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. And you, like this. Exactly well done. It shows you care about the other person, too. What if I want to make a new friend? What should I say? You could start by saying, Hello, my name is Jane. What's your name? It's a good way to begin a conversation. Hello, my name is Jane. What's your name? Hi, Jane. I'm Mr. Han. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, Mr. Han. How do I say if I didn't hear something well? You can say, sorry, could you please repeat that? Or, I'm sorry I didn't catch that. Got it. And how do I thank someone? Just say thank you or thanks. If you're very grateful, you can say thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Han. This is helpful. You're welcome, Jane. Always happy to help. Mr. Han, what if I make a mistake while speaking? That's perfectly fine, Jane. Making mistakes is part of learning. Just try again. Everyone understands your learning. That makes me feel better. Thank you. Anytime, Jane. Do you want to learn some common questions now? Yes, please. All right. If you want to know someone's name, ask, what's your name? If you want to know about their well-being, ask, how are you? What if I want to ask about their favorite food? You can say, what's your favorite food? It's a simple question that can start many conversations. What's your favorite food, Mr. Han? I love pizza. What about you, Jane? I love pasta. That's great. Food topics are always good for making conversation. Mr. Han, how do I ask for help in English? You can simply say, can you help me, please? Or, could you please help me? Can you help me, please? Learning English is fun with you. I'm glad to hear that, Jane. I'm here to help. Mr. Han, how do I improve my English speaking? Practice is key, Jane. Try to speak English every day. You can also listen to English music, watch movies, and read books in English. That sounds like a good idea. I'll start doing that. And don't forget to practice with friends or anyone who speaks English. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Thank you, Mr. Han. I feel more confident about learning English now. You're doing great, Jane. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep practicing and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Mr. Han, before we finish, can we talk about numbers in English? Of course, Jane. Numbers are very important. Let's start with 1 to 10. Repeat after me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Did I get that right? Perfectly. Now let's try counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. How did I do? Excellent, Jane. You're catching on quickly. Knowing numbers is very useful for shopping, telling time, and many other things. Can you teach me how to tell time in English? Sure. When we tell time, we often start with the hour followed by the minutes. 
For example, if the big hand is on the 12 and the small hand is on the 3, we say it's 3 o'clock. What if it's halfway past the hour? Then we say it's half past the hour. So, if it's halfway past 3, we say it's half past 3. And what about when it's not on the hour or half past? If it's a quarter after the hour, we say quarter past. And if it's a quarter before the next hour, we say quarter to. Could you give me an example? Sure. If the time is 3.15, we say it's quarter past 3. If it's 3.45, we say it's quarter to 4. I see. That's very interesting. It's important to practice so you get used to it. What else would you like to learn? How about colors? Colors are fun. Let's go through some basic ones. Red, blue, green, yellow, black, white, orange, purple, pink, and brown. Red, blue, green, yellow, black, white, orange, purple, pink, and brown. It's like a rainbow. Exactly. Colors are all around us. They make the world beautiful. Do you have a favorite color, Jane? Yes, I love blue. It reminds me of the sky and the sea. Blue is a beautiful color. It's peaceful and calming. Mr. Han, how do I say that something belongs to me? You use my to show something belongs to you. For example, my book, my house, my favorite color is blue. My favorite color is blue. And how do I ask if something belongs to someone else? You can ask, is this your book? Or what is your favorite color? What is your favorite color, Mr. Han? My favorite color is green. It reminds me of nature. This is fun, Mr. Han. I'm learning so much. I'm glad to hear that, Jane. Remember, the key to learning is practice and curiosity. Keep asking questions and exploring. I will, Mr. Han. Thank you for today. I look forward to our next chat. You're welcome, Jane. I'm always here to help. Keep practicing and soon you'll be very confident in speaking English. Bye, Mr. Han. See you next time. Goodbye, Jane. Keep up the good work. See you soon.